Yeah, reasonably happy. Obviously, one rider looking like we're going to slip into showdown, and obviously Stewart's had a big comeback from injuries, so it's still not out of the question that he could actually still make it, come to the, come to the final three rounds. But yeah, reasonably happy with our first year back. We haven't won as many races as we'd like, but yeah, we're happy enough. I wouldn't say I'm uh, fully fit by any any stretch, but uh, I'm able to get on with it, and um, it's it's sort of uh, sort of damage limitation really, and or sort of hoping to be to make the showdown and, and do the best I can and see how it unfolds, and you never know, it's never over till it's over. Feeling pretty good. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, the, the whole year is about building yourself and, and preparing as, as best you can for the showdown. You know, we made the mistake last year of, uh, you know, sort of taking our eye off the ball and just trying to win everything and, and thinking that we'd be prepared for the showdown with that. But, uh, you know, with the Rapid Solicitors Kawasaki team, we've uh, we've been building step by step. And we're trying to get ourselves into a position where when the showdown starts, we, we have a really, really good package that's, that's well balanced and we know like the back of our hand. Lowry 7th, Chris Walker 8th, 9th uh, for Stuart Easton, 10th for Graham Garner. Remember, all these are men who are in contention for that top six placing. Whipping across the line to complete lap 13, unlucky for some, but not these two. Shaky Byrne, Josh Brooks lead the way. So, Shaky Byrne in his 211th British Superbike race, the former double champion, 36th race victory here at Brands Hatch on the Rapid Solicitors Kawasaki. Shaky, local boy done good, he wins it. It's a tough race, but I expected nothing less, you know. We uh, done a good job yesterday and, and put the bike on pole, but pole position over one lap's one thing, and. Uh, you know, leading for 18s and other. So, uh, all credit to the to the Rapid Sisters Kawasaki team. They've done a great job since Alton Park, and we knew we had some good pace. I'm um, going to make a few little changes for the second race to try and make my life a little bit easier. But uh, you know, we definitely seem to have achieved what we needed to achieve, and uh, really, really happy to take a win here at Brands Hatch. Yeah, great. You know, we love coming here. We knew it's one of Shane's best tracks, so it's. Good for us to capitalise here this weekend, grab as many podium credits or points as we can. So takes Kawasaki back to the lead of the Constructors' Championship, so pretty happy for them as well. So it was good. The boys are working hard to get ready for race two, so not many done, no changes, just uh, new bike obviously worked well, new engine's really good so and strong. So yeah, I think we've been with a good shout for race two. Lights out, and Josh Brooks guns the Taiko Suzuki on the right-hand side of screen. Great start, though, by Shaky Byrne, who I think, just to say, beat Michael Laverty to the apex of Turn 1. Easton has got the pace. Well, he's, he's, already, had, uh, a, he's already had a rostrum finish at Alton Park. Oh, somebody's off! That might have been Easton. Oh, no! That could have been Easton. No, it not. was a... It is Easton. Oh. Shaky Byrne, in his 212th British Superbike race, is going to achieve the double 37 British Superbike wins. The Rapid Solicitors Kawasaki crosses the line. Here is Shaky Byrne, and Stuart East can, do, can then simply join in the plaudits. Uh, well, the crowd will be applauding the little Scotsman for still being in one piece as much as anything. <laughs> Certainly here at Brands Hatch, the bike's been fantastic and to uh, to give the team the first double win of the year, I'm, I'm over the moon. The only thing we need to concentrate on now is, is sort of attaining more podium credits and uh, I think we're only two or three behind Tommy now, so um, you know, hopefully if we can uh, if we can keep him in our sights or keep everybody behind us, you know, for the next couple of rounds, then you know, it stands us in very, very good stead going into the start of the showdown. So uh, the first hurdle's out of the way, 
a double win this weekend at my home track at Brands Hatch Static. Um, but not getting complacent, you know, need to go away now, work hard, train hard. The guys need to do their thing to make sure we uh, make sure we stay on top and then fingers crossed we can continue this kind of form at Capital Park.